what we can do right now is turn on and turn off manually switch there we go and then we can close with the app and then we can welcome back to another video and today with a smart in wall switch divided in these two small devices that to me i thought it was a disadvantage but after after using after installing it I came to the conclusion that actually this is an advantage as I will share with you in just a few moments it is from EVVR which has some interesting products and probably will bring some more right over here if there's interest in that spot and this one is available for Apple home kit now if that's not your thing and you prefer Z-Wave or Z there's also that version available so links down below what we are going to do right now is basically to connect all this and see how it works both on manual switch and also on the Apple home kit so here we are on the bench and let's go through the installation so that we don't have any questions and to take any doubts that you might have because of the no neutral and this will make sense once we take a look at the sub assembly switch which is the one that we might use if we want to uh, control it via the app and at the same time via a manual switch so let's start with the main switch and this is an optional um, switch right over here but this we will need to use to power a lamp or a set of lamps and the connection to the lamps or set of lamps is quite easy now this is actually optional and I will remove it so that we can understand a little bit better we will need a output which is this one right over here which says out to the set of lamps the neutral wire I can go and grab it from anywhere in my installation but in this moment the one that makes sense is the neutral output which is the closest one but depending on our electrical installation it might make better sense to get neutral from anywhere else in the installation so this is the output and there we go the easy as this now if I don't want to use the physical button or switch all I need to do is to get from my grid the live and neutral input and if I only want to use the app I just need to connect the live right over here and I need to connect the neutral right over here basically the neutral will make contact so it doesn't matter which one we connect and I would need to screw them tight so that it will work but basically this is the easiest function without any switch we just need to connect and bam connect the application and we can work it out but we want to see the example of using this and also using the manual switch because it will change a little bit here and it's not difficult but uh, we just need to pay attention to the diagram and of course you will have this on the manual right over here actually it comes with two manuals one in case we want to use the switch and the other one don't now instead of uh, putting in the live on the main switch if we are going to use the sub switch what we will need to do is to put the live right over here so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to connect the live right over here to this switch and this live cable will go to the L right over here and basically this is it now what I will need to do is to control the uh, switch or the smart switch with the manual switch I will need a cable to give that command so I'm going to grab one cable right over here which I'm going to connect to the L1 in this particular case we have the option to use two L1 and L2 so I'm going to connect to the L1 and we are going to put it tight which is always a good practice when touching with electricity and this life will go to the L right over here where we would place directly the live input if we were not using the sub switch so let's put in right over here and this basically will control or give the commands from the switch when we press it to turn on or off the lamp just came out so let's put it once again I did not screw it well so here we go as I was saying this is the wire that will give the command from the switch to the, the sub switch to the switch so this will make the life circuit going as this coming from the grid going here getting in the sub switch and then going out from the sub switch 
to the main switch. Of course, if we have a second unit, it will come out from the L2 and go to the other switch that we have to control another set of lamps. And right over here, we just need one more connection, which is the neutral input. The sub switch will not use any neutral, just live, and then the outputs for L1 and L2, but the main switch will require a neutral input. So what we are going to do is to connect this uh, junction right over here so that we have neutral and we are going to take neutral to the switch and right over here we are going to input the neutral on this one which is as i said the same doesn't matter which one we put because they will make contact either way and at this moment we have the connection made and this once we start working with it you will see that it's easier than what it looks now we just need to connect and i'm using this just as a simulation of course when we are with our switch things are a little bit different but here we have blue light red light i'm not sure what it means because i did not install the app yet but what we can do right now is turn on and turn off manually as we would without the smart switch so we are ready and at this moment we just need to install the app and we have this working with the app and of course if we want to use the switch as well we can do so you can see we can open this and if we open with the switch there we go and then we can close with the app and then we can use the switch app app and and there we go with the app and also with the switch so this is it really easy to set up as we could see and also easy to use and in a more realistic scenario here we are with two sets of lamps with a dual switch now i only have one button activated because we only have one switch so as we can see if i press the other one the others are deactivated but if i have a second unit and i can uh, turn on a second string of switches and as we can see we can control via the app like we were doing on our test bench and also right over here the subsystem switch will stay here inside of our wall but the bigger unit will need to be closer to the lamp string or something like that because it's a bit bigger so just have this in mind but otherwise it's working everything as it should so we can turn on here and then turn off right over here so just easy as this and in a matter of few minutes we will have our unit working on any light switch but it gets even easier when we take a look at a real electric installation and we look at the upper box where we have the wires that will connect to the switch so that we can just plug in the wires that are already there and then if we take a look at the switch which usually is a couple of meters below or to the side and you can check those right now you will see that all the wires are ready there we just need to connect the units and that is it so hopefully this video will help you to decide if this is the unit for you how easy it is to plug in on a ready electric installation but at the same time for those that want to put this solution on anywhere that doesn't have an electric installation could follow along and see how easy it is to implement that and finally use it manually or with the apple home kit and if that goal was achieved please don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one